Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you a demonstration of a really quick, really easy hand and arm massage. Perfect for beginners in beauty therapy or for someone that just wants to learn how to do something nice and relaxing. Hope you enjoy it. So basic setup for a nice and simple hand and arm massage is to have a good solid working area, a nice table, to have a seat for yourself and your client. Um, a stool would be fine but if the client's got any back problems or wants to be comfortable make sure that it's a well supported chair. You want to have a hand towel folded up like a sausage roll so that it can support the wrist. You also want to have another hand towel which is covering your table so that any spillages go on the towel and not on your nice surfaces. It's also handy if you want to dry off excess oil, you can just use the towel. You want to have your massage medium. You can go for oil which is possibly almond oil, grapeseed oil, the list is endless. Just be very very careful if someone's got a nut allergy. You can go for a massage cream. Really handy if you're mobile, you're working, you're going about, you don't want to drop liquids or take the chance that there's any spillages. Again, just be careful with any creams. They do have lots of lovely ingredients. They can have aromatherapy oil ingredients, but you might again have some oils that have got nuts within them and you don't want to cause anyone any allergies. And I think my favourite massage medium at the moment is Massage Balms. They are oils in a balm form and you start working with them and they go from balm form to oil incredibly quickly. You can have unscented and then you can have any scents that you like. You get some that smell citrusy, some smell spicy and festive. They're great, really love them. You also want to have a spatula so that you're not dipping your fingers in cross contamination. We want to avoid that. Finally, just a piece of tissue where your oils are so again if there's any spillages it's on the tissue and on the towel and not on your table and now we're good to go. Right so the first thing we're going to do is use our massage cream. I'm going to use a spatula so that we don't cross contaminate our product and then always put your lid back on when you're finished because there's airborne bacteria and there's dust particles in the air so as soon as you're finished with it lid back on. Also means that if you accidentally spill it it's going to be covered by the lid and you're not going to lose half of your product. We're just covering the hand and arm just now in the massage cream and I'll just get you to turn your arm around. And what we're doing just now is making sure that there's enough coverage that we don't drag the skin and make it uncomfortable. While I'm warming up the skin, I'm also checking for any contraindications, any cuts, any abrasions, anything that looks like it might be a little bit suspicious and means that we don't want to do the massage. But everything looks perfect here. So now we begin and we just do some nice light effleurage. It's a linking move, it's a skin warming move, it heats up the tissues. The way that we do it is we just slide our hand up the client's hand, slide up to the elbow and slide back down again. Not only is it relaxing for the client but it's starting to warm up the area. It prepares them for further treatments and it's also helping to boost the circulation and boost lymphatic drainage. The slower and deeper you do the move, the more relaxing it is for the client. Normally we do moves about three to six times. So when you've done that enough, just gently turn the arm round and repeat the same way. Just taking your time sliding up and back. You'll probably find if it's the first time someone's been massaged, they're stiff and resisting a little bit, but as time goes on, they'll relax into it and normally people comment about how nice it feels. So then you gently turn the arm back again and we can do a little bit of massage around the wrist bones and these are the carpal bones. Sometimes if someone's got tension there, you can actually feel the crunching as you're working around. But you can quite clearly see we've got the two obvious parts of the wrist there, but there's actually lots and lots of different shaped irregular bones there. So when you're working around doing little thumb circles, you can actually feel them. Have a firm pressure, but not to the point where it actually hurts the person. But if it's too light, it just feels tickly and it's irritating and not relaxing at all. So nice little thumb circles. Deep enough that you can actually see the pressure and it's quite normal as well to maybe get a little bit of redness which is called erythema just means that you're bringing blood to the surface and boosting the circulation 
getting nutrients and oxygen to the skin's surface. Once we've done that, we start working down the metacarpals. These are the hand bones. And we're just using very, very gentle thumb, almost frictions here. And we're just working down the gaps in between the metacarpal bones. And as we work down, once we get to the fingers, we just slide up. And again, this is helping to boost the circulation and get rid of any rubbish, any toxins, boosting that lymphatic drainage. It also feels really relaxing for the client. Once you've done that, you can do some very gentle pulls on the fingers and your finger bones are called your phalanges. Really, really gentle finger pulls and you're just using your index and middle finger to very gently tug on those fingers. We don't bother with the thumb. And then we can actually do which is almost like a chopping move using the same fingers and you're just very gently pulling the client's finger and relaxing and easing off any tension as you go. And again, you can repeat these moves between three and six times, the slower the better. You can do a hand massage if you're doing a manicure, you can do it just after maybe you've done an exfoliation or you can do it just after a hand mask or if you just want to relax in the house, it's really, really nice just to do it anytime. If someone's got quite a hard manual job or they're a typist, you don't realise the tension that you hold in your hands. So it's really nice just to get someone to do a little hand and arm massage on you. So we turn around the hand now and the client can keep their hand like this or if they want to, they can completely relax their arm. And we can actually start to do a little bit of lymphatic drainage here. And all we're doing is alternating our thumbs from the wrist to the elbow. And it's loosening off any toxins, any waste that's there. And then just by simply pushing your arm along just to the elbow, you're releasing that and encouraging it to flow into the lymphatic system. Feel really relaxed in this move. It's a really nice one. And again, three to six times. It's plenty. Talking about obvious signs as well, if someone had recently broken a bone in their arm, you obviously wouldn't want to do anything related to massage because there's healing going on there. And if anyone had had a recent hand or arm operation, again, you don't want to touch it for at least six months because it might look fine on the surface, but there's healing going on inside. So now we move on to the hand and very very simple circles with your fingers is a lovely relaxing massage technique here and then you just slide off at the thumb again you don't realize the tension that you carry in your hands so it's a really nice one for easing it off and then we can do a similar move where we use our thumbs to just sort of get in there and knead the area and you can either do them both at the same time or you can alternate and again, it feels really nice because you don't think about all the tension that you're carrying there. You're writing every day, you're carrying things every day. So just to spend a little bit of time easing that off feels great. So once you've done that, you can just finish off by the move that we started with again, which is your effleurage. And you'll notice that from the start to the finish, you start to build up heat in your hands. The client has really started to relax. They might even have fallen asleep. And then once you've turned their arm round, do again about three to six moves, it's up to you. And then to finish off, both hands together when you get to the wrist and just very gently slide off. And then we can pop the client's hand down. If we need to, if we feel that there's any residue there, we can use our towel on our table and just pat it off. Or if you still felt that you'd used maybe a little bit too much oil, you could get some sponges and some water and very gently sponge it off and then dab it with a tissue or with the towel. And that is a very, very basic, very easy hand and arm massage.